Well, as you can see, I've got the chassis and the cab that's still on the rotisserie in the back shed here. It doesn't quite fit and I can't move around. So it's time to get the cab off the rotisserie, dismantle it and take it back to my buddy's place where he's got a hell of a lot more room than I do. Well, today I've had the cab completely upside down and I've been able to work on some things here on the roof and at the top of the dash here that I've not been able to get done before or it was too hard upside down. Well, there's a few things up under, right up under the dash support here. That was good to do. And well, I missed a couple of things on the roof and I just went all the way around and double checked that all my welds were done. It just looks so bizarre, completely upside down. And I can still open the doors, both sides. And they open and shut, no problem. So then I know the body's pretty strong if I can do this. And so too are those door hinges. So I woke up this morning early and thought I'd just do a little bit of bog work or nicky work, filler work, whatever you want to call it. I've just laid in a little bit of fiberglass filler in these holes where it was all welded up on the back and then just put a little bit of filler on it. What I've also done is the roof. I'll wind this around and I'll show you that too. So there's the roof there, just with some fiberglass filler in it for the moment. I'm just gonna put some filler over the top of that and uh, rub it down too, and it'll be ready for some paint or pretend rust. Well, I've got some uh, etch primer on there and some normal black primer filled in this roof section. Well, I filled it into the way that I kinda, kinda want it. You know, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Cause that's the look I'm going for. Done a little repair up here as well. Again, just did it really rough. And now that's ready for uh, this rust paint again, which I'm sure you've seen in another episode if you've been following me more around the front. I've even fixed up around this windscreen or where it sticks on at least. It's hard to show you there, but I've put a little bit of fiberglass filler in that and also put a little bit of paint there. So I've been painting all morning, getting all the cab repainted inside here, up in the roof, because while I got it on the rotisserie, I could turn it upside down and really get up into the hard places that I couldn't get to before. I've also painted underneath. This is all done in the miracle paint that I painted it in before. Yeah, I love this stuff. I'm gonna put some sound deadener underneath the car though. But as I was doing all of that, I kind of peered over and saw the tray and thought, well, why aren't I doing this at the same time? I can get it all painted today, can be drying overnight, and then I can attack the sound deadener when I get back from a little break I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna get this painted too. So I've cut all these edges here on the other side there where I had a clearance problem with those handbrake cables. And uh, I've given it all a bit of a clean up. I'm gonna get some of this miracle paint on this too. And just like that, that's all painted. That took a little while. It took me about an hour and a half to hand brush all that. But it's all done and ready for some sound deadener when I get back. Hell, I like that just like that. Maybe I shouldn't even worry about sound deadening it. I don't know, I'll have a think about it. Well, the next thing I've done is put some sound deadener on the bottom of this thing. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Hang on, I missed a bit. There we are. What I used was this septone stuff. It's done the job. I've just got to get some more to do this. You know, it's really hard to tell in a photograph. So I've taken a little bit of a video here. I mean, this stuff looks great. I've actually never done this before on any of my cars. But yeah, I like the look of that. 
Maybe I should do the whole car like that. Well, it's two days later and this is all dried. That's looking really good. Now, like I said before, what I've got to do now is the bottom of this tray and inside the wheel wells there. Well, look what we've done here. I've got all this sound in uh, on the bottom of the tray as well. Man, this stuff just looks so good. So good, in fact, that it'll look better than the uh, top of the car. <laughs> Can you believe I spent so much time on the bottom of this truck and no one will see underneath? We'll let this dry for 24 hours before I move it. Yeah, that's looking really good. Well, as you can see, I've got the chassis and the cab that's still on the rotisserie in the back shed here. It doesn't quite fit and I can't move around. So it's time to get the cab off the rotisserie, dismantle it and take it back to my buddy's place. So to get the cab off the rotisserie, I have to drop these arms as low as I can and then jack up the body Put some jack stands underneath there, just to get a little bit of height on the body so that I can undo the bolts, which I already have, and then just pull this out. Obviously there's some bolts there that need done doing, and this whole thing will just slide out. Well, there you have it. The cab's off the rotisserie. I'll disassemble this rotisserie and get this down on the ground. Well, this is really cool to see. The cab's finally off the rotisserie and on these wheels that I've made. Now I can move it around the back shed here at my wheel and put it wherever I want. I might even get some work done on this chassis. Yep, that'll be the next thing to do. I'll park that right here, push the cab all the way to the back. It'll give me plenty of room to work on the chassis. Anyway, I've done enough for today. Time to go inside and you guys have a nice rest of your day.